People are saying it's gonna be new zombie news, but like 30 minutes of new zombies, I think there's gonna be something different. You can't talk about zombies forever. You gotta have something else to talk about, like uh, maybe how development's going, all that, but here we go. Ooh. Uh, it might be, this might be an intro. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. No problem. I'll keep my mouse on screen just so uh, lag doesn't happen. Don't let you stay human. Episode one. Hello, guys. Nice to meet you. I'm Leah. It's pre-recorded. If no. you're dying to know what's going on Actually, in the I'm world really of Dying Light 2, then you're in the right place. He will be showing you all the news for the latest from the Dying Light world. We'll be announcing a few contests, we'll be talking to developers, and probably most importantly, we're going to be showing you a brand new gameplay. New gameplay? Where you can see the current state of the Dying Light Current state? Game. What if it's just like really bad? There's someone here I need to introduce you to. It's Aiden. Aiden? Dude, it's the guy. Oh, lag, dude. What the heck? Oh, I'm downloading something. What happened in those intervening 20 years? Well, there's no better person to ask than the Dying Light 2 world director, Thomas Gavau, with who I'll be talking in just a moment. And after that, I'll be speaking with Piet Germanic, the narrative director of the game in the city. By daylight, human factions fight to control the city, and at night, the streets I want to see the. I want to see the current state. Right. They're well, talking about the current um, state of Dying Light 2. I want to see it. I hope the parkour is really but good. Why did he come that's like, like one that? of the main uh, why, why him? selling points of Dying Light and Dying Light 2. So before we watch the gameplay trailer of Ooh, Dying Light 2 for the first time, thank you all for being on this journey with us. Thank you for sharing your love with others of Dying Fair Light. Art. And thank you for these great moments spent together. What if they put the release date in there? That'd be kind of funny. Dying Light 1 has some amazingly creative fans, which is fantastic, pardon the pun, because we're going to be starting a brand new contest which will combine your love of Dying Light with that same creativity. Mm -hmm. With the release date of Dying Light 2... What? Closer, you get Dying Light, Light 2 you if you win? If you find yourself skilled in the ways of visual arts... Alright, I'm hiring... Uh, hey, Memer Farm, if you're in the chat, um... Uh, draw some, like, Dying Light art for me, and then I'll turn it in as mine. And I'll give you like half credit. Yeah, the split the prize. Some other great rewards you could be with a chance with winning as well. Dude, the rewards. Like, uh, platinum edition of Dying Light. Oh yeah, yeah. Platinum edition of Dying Light. I bought Look that today. This. this is the finest edition of Dying Light ever made. This is the platinum edition of. Yeah, Dying yeah, Light. yeah. I bought this today. Every bit of content ever released for Dying Light in one place. It literally released today it's too. Massive. I mean, look at it. Okay, so I'm excited because you guys are in just a second gonna Where'd see the, the go? official gameplay trailer for Dying Light. Let's go! That, gameplay trailer! Hopefully it's new because they make so it sound like it's not. Ado, it like, oh, is. here's the gameplay. Hey everyone, we've been quiet for some time since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. Mm -hmm. But the wait is over. The wait is over? What do you mean? Let's dive into the open world of Dying Light 2. Or I get to play. Yep, I get to play. I'm playing right now. This is me playing. Yep, I'm playing. The last slice of Dying Light 2 showcased the mission Wait, from the it was at E3 2019 that long ago? Jesus. Dude, it's been two years. Well, no. Release the game? No? Come on. Yeah, time, yeah. We want to give you a broader look, broader at, the look at the game. And a sneak peek at some of the things we'll be talking about in, in upcoming, upcoming months. Hmm. The story. In Dying Light 2, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city, probably the last bastion of mankind in the world. Oh, shit. At first, you feel like this intense, brutal place will tear you apart. But then you meet the Night Runners, veteran survivors who help people in better. I wonder how the um game time is. How long can you? Uh, how long is the story? We used to help people. Remember? Night Runners are gone. Finished. 
a myth. And although it's not entirely clear you can trust them, you need allies in the dark. What's that thing? Falco? Yeah, it is. And these modern are the modern Ages. dark ages. It's been 15 years since the apocalypse, and the world has changed. The world looks really good. I wonder if it will look as good as it is right now throughout the entire world. And I say you can go into any building, which is a great part of dying at and just any open world game. But most open world games, most open world games don't allow you to do that, so it's gonna be cool. Peacekeepers, loyal soldiers, who want to impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path. Renegades, ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel, seeking to become sole... Oh, so there's three groups, I guess. Where is Waltz? Make him talk. Three factions or two factions? I can't really tell. harm them to reshape the city to your liking. That's cool. Just remember, each faction contains complex characters. Nosy Parker, ain't ya? Got some kind of bad habit of yours? So, will you follow cold calculation <clears throat> or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging the streets into chaos. Yet, nightfall scares all of them equally. Hey, it's Dying Light 1, Catchers. Or the motto slogan monsters crawl out of hiding to prey on the poor souls caught outside the safety of uv rays hordes of infected pour into the streets like decaying lava the deadly spawn of 15 years of mutation and evolution this can go up these zombies are really different your only escape Exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. Though even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. Or even greater threat. John? That's not John. Yet night brings opportunity as well. Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. Oh, and you can go into them? To explore them, you must tread carefully. Interesting. Oh my god! While running is going to be one of my favorite moves. Even the most treacherous terrain. And the soundtrack sounds really good. I don't know if any of this music will be in the game. Why do you jump so high? My god. On the roofs, you can count on your parkour acrobatics to save your life. <laughs> but often, you'll have to face your enemies head on. And then you have to be smart. Resourceful. And determined. We've worked hard on the essence of our combat. I hope the combat is so much better. For humans, at least. The zombie combat was fine. But even the most brutal fights can be tactical as well. Fun. You have multiple ways to hone your skills toward Wait, the game. Grappling hook attack. It's up to you if you focus mostly Dude, on mobility and parkour or aggressive blunt force combat. 
or a crafty approach where the tools you've created get the job done. Every ability you the crafting be system will be changer and possibly a new favorite move. Ooh, that gun. Things move fast and quick in dying light too. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. Choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything you do in the city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city. If this is gameplay, the game looks but great. Most importantly, you decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human. He's about to turn. Uh oh. Might be the end. An extensive post gonna die at the end? world. Oh, no. I really like that divisiveness. I haven't heard that the, one before. Uh, life on the roof and then and then death on the streets. Yeah, like the intensity of the day and the night cycle together. Yeah, it's almost like dying. Game like looks so two good. Different games put together into one. Yeah, like despite that, it's getting great like racing too. Going on on the ground floor. This you can pre-order it right now, dude. Unless the guys. Now are what? Guys, no no way! World and dying like too. How big is it? It's pretty big. We, we know that. Can you tell us a little bit more? <laughs> you can pre-order the game. The map in <laughs> dying. I'm gonna pre-order it in a little bit. Probably, maybe. Who knows? Okay, so the last and arguably the most important question I'm sure Will you have is the yeah. a very, 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 They're very not gonna important say question. it. They're not and gonna luckily, say it. We have the answer. What? And that answer is the, the 7th, 7th of December. December. Oh my god! <laughs> and now that we know the release date of the game, it's time for you to go pre order it. Go to dyinglight.com. Dude, they like actually have a release and date. Pre order. And there you go. Congratulations. You just pre-ordered one of the most anticipated games of this year. So let's go! Dude, pre-orders, let's go! Uh, I don't really want. I don't really want to pre. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Wait, what was, what was that website? What was that website? What was that website? What was that website? Dying Light to pre-order. Beep boop boop beep boop. Go check out the Techland Gamers and Goodies website for more info. Yeah, this is a program for all gamers. Pre-order now. Whether or not you want updates on Dying Light Two, news, or you want Dying Light Two items in Dying Light One. Everyone's That's gonna so find cool. something they like there. Let's go. Yep, and uh, this is just an initial offering PC. as well. Digital. Check back later Ultimate. for even more details, more information, and we'll be going through Story it. DLC one. What? What do you That's mean? It. Don't forget to pre-order the game and take part in our contest. The details are on the game's website. Charms. Digital of the next episode. Thank you for watching and stay safe out there. Bye. See ya. Huh? Wait, are they done? They're done, I think. Let's watch. What is Story DLC 1, Story DLC 2? Oh, they're done. Now I just hear music. Well, that was surprising. I didn't expect it. The leak was right, December 7th? If I reload the page, it'll say. Nope, doesn't say. Dude, that's actually crazy. Holy shit. <sighs> My god. December 7th. A day to look forward to. How many days until December... I think they, uh, the reason they did this, the reason they made it so late in the year is just so they can get the game ready and have as much time as possible because people want it 2021, so they're going to give it 21, 2021, but they're going to take all the time they can. Oh, there isn't, uh, there isn't a collector's edition for PC. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh my god, that was... Crazy. Well, I think I'm gonna play some Dying Light. My final thoughts are... Well, 
I really didn't expect a release date. And I didn't really expect it to be so late in the year, but I guess the reason they did that is just so they have time to develop the game and make it the best they can be. I did end up pre-ordering it, if you didn't know. Uh, I got the Ultimate Edition because I was actually saving up for Dying Light 2. And of course, I'm really, really excited to play the game. I'm also really excited to see the new episodes of Dying to Know. They're like, just episodes on how the development's going and what Dying Light 2 has to offer. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video.